In this video, I'm going to show you a way to fill a vintage um, Kohenor fountain pen that's a technical pen when the ink bottles um, are less than half full and they're difficult to get far enough on the pen barrel to fill the pen. Um, in another video, I did show how to fill one of these pens, and the color I wanted uh, didn't have enough ink in the jar to fill this pen because you need to go at least up here in depth. You need to put the the pen into the ink at least up to there. And the ink I wanted um, didn't have enough in the bottle. So what I'm going to do and what I have done, um, I've taken several ink colors here and I have mixed my own color ink and put it in a film canister. It's about a little over half full, and um, I've tested on this paper towel that it is uh, close to the color that I want. And now what I'm going to do is uh, dilute it with, um, you should use distilled water. This isn't actually distilled water, but you, you should use uh, distilled water. And in my case, I know about how much I want to put in. Um, most of the time it's half and half, um, especially with the smaller pen sizes, the nib pen sizes. So this makes the ink, uh, all of these inks are very finely pigmented, but if you don't dilute them, they're still a little bit too thick and they, they go on too thick and they may clog your pen. So by mixing my own ink and placing it in this film canister, I can now uh, fill this pen many, many times with um, a consistent color. I also write down um, my, what I call recipes for different ink colors. And because I'll be using this one a lot, um, I will probably write down what I added. Now, again, to fill the pen, you turn it all the way to the left before you put it in the ink. Then you turn it all the way to the, re the right, and you repeat that two or three times to fill the barrel. So when I'm done doing this, I'm going to do it one more time. When I'm done doing this, uh, the barrel will be full with a consistent um, color and a safe color for the pen. Um, it, won't be, it won't be too thick. Um, and, and it'll be something that I can use, as you can see. That's how far I had to go on the nib, at least to here, in order to fill this pen. And now, when I go to use um, that color, I can use that in other size pens, too, of course. But uh, this was the smaller nib size um, that I, I wanted to put this color in. And now... Um, with a modern nib, you can put a ball syringe. It That will fit right onto the tip of a modern nib. With a vintage nib, you have to be careful, there's little hairs there. Um, you have to hold it in place to get the pen started. But it takes a couple of seconds. If it takes too long to get the ink flow started, then you might want to um, put the the end of the, uh, just lean the whole pen into an ultrasonic cleaner with the nib side down and it will get the ink flowing that way. Now sometimes it'll pull ink up um, that was dripped on, on the nib itself. The portion here of the bulb syringe, <clears throat> the plastic extension there, that unscrews and you can throw that in an ultrasonic cleaner also to keep it clean. And when you do that, you have um, <clears throat> excuse me, a better view of how much ink is in there. Now I'm just going to wipe that off. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a very nice ink flow coming from that pen very quickly and these um, this is a six uh, uh, I think they're 
um, size nib and they're uh, sometimes a little bit tricky to get going and to keep going so you want to have the right consistency of ink the camera's not really picking that up because it's so small um, the right consistency of ink and um, a depth to your container that you can put the uh, at least a, um, three quarters of an inch of the bottom of the barrel in. What I ended up doing was um, dividing the ink I had in half between two containers and adding more water. Um, the type of drawing I do now, I do uh, small ACEOs of St. Michael and uh, this color is going to be for his hair and I'm kind of developing a new color from uh, what I've used in the past partially because the Rotring Artist Color um, ink is no longer available. Um, FW acrylic inks come in a raw sienna that is close to the raw yellow ochre that Rotring made um, but I'm going to develop my own new color, and as I said, um, I'll keep track of the colors I use to mix it. And um, because I'm going to be using this in a .18 pen um, most of the time, .18 or .13, um, I decided to dilute it a little bit more. So now I have two half-full containers of ink um, that I've kind of poured back and forth into each other so I know that they are um, the same color and consistency and um, I will be able to use this for a long time for those ACEOs.